Hello everyone. So in this video, I will show you how you can automate your Google form with your Telegram. Whenever someone submit their uh, information in your Google form, you can receive that response in your Telegram account. So I will show you in this video how you can automate this completely for free. Let's start. So this is a form that I have created right now. And now I will automate this one. So some, when someone fill this information, I want to receive notification and the information in my telegram account okay let's start to start the automation you have to come to this website make.com and here just simply click on get started free and here you will have to create a new account you can create an account completely for free i will give you a link in the description okay i am choosing my account and continue okay while this is uh, uh, my inform uh, sign up for free okay my account is created here as you can see uh, this is my form id we will need this later just keep it in mind that this is the form id and uh, Choose any option here that uh, that uh, that relates to you, and just skipping this one. Okay, so the account is created fully. The dashboard is not lo has not loaded loaded yet. I'm waiting for the dashboard. Okay, it is still loading. It's taking too much time today. Okay, so it loaded finally. Uh, you can simply create a click on Google Sheet and. Acha, we are uh, just create on create new scenario. Um, then you will have to add module. So these are the modules that you can add. Simply search for Google Sheet. Okay, here you will find a lot of uh, apps. Uh, we are, we, you, you can see here the Google Forms, but we should not select Google Forms. We should select the Google Sheet. Because whenever when, when you choose the Google Form option, then you will face few issues to get the information from Google Form to the telegram account and that's why uh, we are using the google sheet option this works smoothly and that's why i'm recommending this to you select new, watch new rules and then just create the connection okay so if we want to connect our google sheet we need a google sheet for this form right so how to do that here uh, if you come to the response tab uh, you can see link to sheets I uh, just uh, create a new spreadsheet with the, for this form specifically for this form and uh, the sh okay so here as you can see our google sheet is sheet is created now we can connect our google sheet here uh, simply sign in with your google account and then you will find the google sheet okay continue allowing them giving them the permission to access my google sheet okay so my google sheet is connected here as you can see now uh, you don't have to change anything just limit this to one because we want to process one response at a time and we have header in the table okay so from here we have to choose our spreadsheet we don't need any spreadsheet id because we want we can see we can simply see the name of the spreadsheet here we want to choose the trial information collection form uh, or uh, or that sheet the name of the sheet was this so i can we can simply uh, choose it using the name okay i'm choosing the name uh, choosing this this spreadsheet and here the sheet name what is sheet name let me show you this is the sheet name you can add here and this is sheet one this is the sheet name of sheet one okay so let's choose the response one and click on okay okay uh, since specific id no we don't need to select that one uh, you can just click on okay sorry it is not working okay uh, 
chose manually we want to start this from the starting okay so uh, here if we want to start from a specific id we need to select this one uh, okay to make this easier for you let's uh, do something uh, let's submit a form response name siraj and email siraj at gmail.com i'm choosing any random email here okay so if i submit it here the information will be added here a refresh okay so the information is added here as you can see now if i just cut it here from here if i just refresh now and click on ok okay response one form response one and clicking on ok okay so this is connected properly let me see if anything is missing here no okay i'm adding my next module here which is telegram telegram bot send you should, uh, okay in telegram you will have to select that send message option and then you okay let me show you show this to you again so telegram bot send a text, text message or reply this option should be uh, chosen then we have to connect our telegram bot here now the question is where is your bot you don't have any bot right you need to create one let me show you how to create the bot so you have to uh, search for for this name bot father and then you will find this account just come to this account and give this command slash new bot and then pick a name test bot 001 and now you will have to pick a username the username should be unique if someone is has already chosen that username then that you can then you can't use that username uh let's pick any new test bot 0177 okay uh, there is another condition which is after the username we need to use the keyword bot that's it we have created our own bot successfully now we need this token you need we, you will need this token later too uh, okay so let me just paste it here save okay so our bot is connected uh, in our make.com the connection is done now we need the chat id okay so the bot you created is public bot anyone can access that bot but uh, to which account the bot will send the notification you want yourself uh, you, you want the notification in your own account right uh, in that case just simply send a message to your chat bot i'm going to my bot this is my bot I'm starting the conversation and I'm saying hello. So we have sent a message to our own chat, uh, own bot. Uh, hello. Now we need our chat ID. To get the chat ID, simply go to a link. I will give you this link in the description. And I'm just giving the link here. And here you will have to paste your uh, bot token. Uh, this was our bot token and just replace it here and go to this link so in this link you can see all the updates all the messages and everything here okay so as you can see i have started the bot this was a, that was a bot command and then i have sent them a hello message okay so what what you need is this chat id okay so we need the id here now the text this is the text that will that you will receive in your telegram account uh, you can write anything here new lead information uh, and also I, I need the information here the name and the email we can write here that this is the name 
name and here info email okay so i'm saving this one our connection is done now if we just run it once let's see what happens if it works or not as you can see i have received the message with siraj and another uh, my email address so as you can see this worked successfully and uh, this is the way you can create a bot and set up your google sheet to telegram automation let me know if you have any question uh, i will try my best to reply and help you thank you so much